We open the show with popular entertainers DJ Jimmy Jat and Omaomi as they close the year for the Meet Media series. The Megbele crew now tells us how childbirth changed her life, while DJ Jimmy Jat tells us more about the industry. Do take a look. The Meets Media series draw the curtains on 2017 with what has been described as a bumper edition with veteran disc jockey Jimmy Jats and Nigerian pop and dance singer Omaomi as headliners. The story of the Nigerian music industry comes to bear as these respected figures in the music climb take off their celebrity toga to answer questions about what makes the industry tick. It's Omaomi. First on the spotlight is celebrated singer Omaomi, who rose to fame stems from emerging runner-up at the first edition of the Idol's West Africa musical reality show back in May 2007. Two albums and many singles after, the Shekiri-born singer confesses that the climb has changed so much, especially with the advent of social media. Social media, you know, being in, interacting with people, letting them know when you go toilet, when you stand up, all that, you understand? Yeah. So it's a bit of a challenge for me. And, you know, getting to understand that it's now more of a 360 package as opposed to, you know, when it was just all about selling your music, you know? So that's the difference right there. Um, is it easier now? I'd like to tell you that, yes, but the truth is that there's no blueprint. You know, um, what works for A might not work for B, you know. So the only thing I can say is that if you're coming into this game, you know, whether you are old school or you are new school, you need to come strong and you need to come, you know, in everybody's faces and go, go help you. In 2011, the If You Ask Me singer gave birth to a daughter that totally changed her perspective to life. Although typical of a judgmental society, the singer has had to deal with opinion comments about how she must comport herself in public now that she is a mother. She, however, reveals that making a choice of living and exemplifying life for her daughter is a choice that came from within. Um, I think that the balance comes from within. You ask yourself what you want to do because when you are an individual, you're responsible for yourself. But when you become a parent, you are responsible for, you know, the way another person's life is going to turn out. At yeah. least you're like 50% responsible, you know, until when the person don't grow, come on for your hand. You know, so you, you decide on, you know, where the balance comes from. And if you decide that, Omar, I don't want to be, you know, stereotyped. I want to be wearing mini and I want to, you know, <laughs> you know, make the kind of music that I want to make, you know, no holds bad. Go right ahead. There's nobody that says that you cannot do what you want to do. For me, um, it was a bit of a challenge. I know that, yes, I was a bit, you know, very, you know, questionable that year. Because I, I decided to wear, keep quiet. Because I decided to <laughs> wear mini. Sorry for the people that do not understand, um, Pitching in this local parlance. Tell on a person where you may interpret. I used to <laughs> I used to wear a lot of micros, you know, then and I was comfortable in my skin. And I still am, you know, but my daughter now will want to wear the one that is bending. And she's just six, you know. I don't allow her to watch, you know, twerking videos and all of that because I don't want to have heart attack. So I cannot be twerking. <laughs> I don't know if you understand yes, me. Yes, yes. Yeah, so no disrespect to anybody, but it's just you decide on what you want to do. You decide the balance. Exactly. With over two decades of works in the music industry up her sleeves, DJ Jimmy Jats cuts the OG status within the Nigerian music industry. And for him, a quick summary of the difference between the industry now and the proverbial good old days is the level of professionalism. The discipline that some people have, some other people don't have it. And then the mentality that some other people have, some people don't have it. Some people believe that once you are a supposed star, people have to wait for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because that's the impression they get. And they never reach there. Which now they do there now. Some other people believe that, you know, be prompt. 
and end that end that repetition as being reliable. I rather be I rather even not have the greatest you know like if you accuse me that I played at a party and the party could have been better, I prefer to you say, man, I came late. You understand? I mean, but that I'm coming in, I'm coming in, you know, when everything is almost, uh, is half done, it's un 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 unacceptable. Born Olorun Jimmy at Dewale Amu, Jimmy also fingers greed as a major factor why there are so many strained artists and record level relationships. You might be an expert in singing and writing songs and all that. You might not be a great businessman. So if you sign with a label, the label takes care of the business. You take care of what your, you know, the, the talent and the music and everything. That's the partnership that works. But a lot of times, artists always feel like, look, I can take care of the business as well, and it's time for me to move on, and that's when the label fallout always comes up, you know. Sadly, it's not something that you can do so much about. You can only advise, you know, and then you can only tell record labels to be fair in their signing of artists. If you sign an artist and you make the artist happy, the artist won't have any reason to leave your label. But a lot of times, contracts that are signed when an artist is upcoming is usually when you look back at it in four years or three years, you look back and say this is slavery because it's unfair. I mean, if this guy has that much talent and he's not even getting 20% of what he's making, I think that's an unfair, an unfair deal. You might, all, you might do well to always say, okay, after every, after the expiry, we might have to review. If the guy had 20% before, let's grant him maybe 60% now. And if he's happy, he will stay. But a lot of times, record labels do not see their, they don't see the growth in the artist. They only see the money, you know, and that's sometimes make, uh, it creates all this fallout that we see every now and then. And to cap a lovely evening, former Kenny's music singer Paul Play Dairo brought back the rhythms of the past era. Boy, I knew you were the one. My oh my, my oh my Baby, let me take you to the top Let my love and pick you up Till the money comes Every time I see your face Tears of passion can be drained Will you be my wife? You and me forever, baby No more late night dreams, no more fantasy. 